Okay, section 12.3, we're talking about polynomial division. So we talked about polynomials in an earlier chapter, and sometimes this particular section is referred to as polynomial long division, and you'll see why. We're gonna do two different types. So this first one, this example, 3x squared minus 6x plus nine, you can see this is a trinomial, three terms, but it's divided by a monomial, one term. So what you can do in a situation like this is you can actually break this up. Like think of this as each one of these terms in the numerator is being divided by three. So you see how I did that? I divided each of them by three. So three x squared divided by three, the threes cancel, you're just gonna get x squared. Here are the negative six and three, they reduce, that gives you negative two x, and then nine divided by three is just positive three, and you got it. So it's pretty easy when you're just dividing by a monomial one term, you just divide each of the terms by that monomial. Now here we've got a polynomial with four terms, divided by a binomial, binomial meaning two terms. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the polynomial long division that I mentioned. So we're gonna take x minus two, and we're gonna see how many times it goes into x cubed plus x squared minus two x minus eight. Okay, so here's how you go about this. You say, how many times does x go into this first term, x cubed? Well, it goes in there, 1x squared times. So then what you do is you take that x squared and you distribute it to both of these terms. So that's x cubed minus 2x squared. Now you just subtract, just like you normally do when you do long division, but what a lot of students like to do instead of subtracting is changing the signs to the opposite and adding, because subtraction is like adding the opposite. These guys cancel, now we get 3x squared minus 2x minus eight. I'm just bringing those terms down. Again, we say, how many times does x go into this first term, 3x squared? Well, 3x squared divided by x is 3x. So then we take the 3x and we distribute to both these uh, two terms, and we subtract, but again, a lot of students like to change the signs to the opposite and add. They find that to be a little bit easier. And then how many times does x go into 4x, or what's 4x divided by x? Or you could say what times x gives you 4x, and that's just gonna be four, if I distribute the four to both these terms, I get four x minus eight, change the signs to the opposite and add, and we get zero. Now, if the remainder there was not zero, like say the remainder was two, what do you do with the two? Well, you would then take the two and you would add that and say it'd be plus two over x minus two. So you would add, add that on right over here on the end. So in this particular example, like say if you had three goes into 20, three goes into 20 six times with two left over, what do you do with the two? you put the remainder over the divisor, so it'd be six and two thirds. So same idea here, if there's a remainder, you're gonna put the remainder over what you're dividing by. So let's jump into some examples. See if you can pause the video and do these on your own. So let's look at number one and two first. Here you can see you're dividing by a monomial, see just by one group, one term. So here what we're doing, dividing by two x, that's really like dividing each of these terms by two x. So you can reduce, 16 divided by two is eight, 3 minus 1 is x squared, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 minus 1 is x, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and the x's cancel, and that's your answer. So pretty easy, right? So try this one over here. Want to learn Algebra 1? Check out my Learn Algebra 1 video course for sale, where we go through 87 video lessons that take you step by step by step through Algebra 1. We talk about the important concepts, formulas, and we go through numerous example problems together to help you learn Algebra 1. Click the interactive card or the link in the description below to take you over there to get started with some of the free lessons. In the meantime, let's continue on with this video. Pretty easy, right? So try this one over here, you're dividing by five. So everything gets divided by five. 30 divided by five is six, c squared. Here the fives cancel, you just get one c. 10 divided by five is two. So pretty easy, right? Okay, now for three and four, you can see we're dividing by a binomial. Okay, and this works for dividing by trinomials and polynomials with four terms. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that long division technique that we were doing over there. So x squared minus six x plus eight. So see if you can do this one. So what do you think? How many times does x go into x squared? X times, and you can distribute that x to both these terms like so. Now we're gonna change the signs to the opposite and add straight down. How many times does x go into negative two x? Negative two times, if we distribute, and then we change the signs to the opposite, and we add, we get zero remainder. So our final answer is just gonna be x minus two. Now, if you wanna check your work, if you take x minus two times x minus four and you FOIL all that out, you're gonna get back the original polynomial. Okay, last example, see if you can do this one. 
y plus 2, we're seeing how many times that goes into y squared plus 9y plus 17, right? So how many times will y go into y squared? y times. And you can see when you distribute, you always want these first terms to be the same, so when you subtract, they cancel out. y times 2 gives you 2y. We subtract, which is like changing the signs to the opposite, and then we just add straight down. How many times does y go into 7y? 7 times. If we distribute, we get 7y plus 14. Change the signs to the opposite, we get 3 remaining. What do we do with the 3 remaining? We put the remainder over what we're dividing by, the divisor. And that's your final result, and you got it. So this is how to work with uh, polynomial division and polynomial long division. This is an important skill when you go on to take the ACT and the SAT. They oftentimes have a question just like this. So I'll see you in the next lesson.